Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Kellogg wooden wall telephone and this is Williams Telephone from New York and he bought this telephone off of eBay and so basically he had it sent and shipped directly to us and uh, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a look at this telephone because this is the initial checkout so it has a plaque on it and we're going to take a still picture of that plaque but it's a very cool telephone and we're going to be converting this telephone and we have a door down here on the bottom and this door slides up and down once it's hung on the wall and we have it removed because we want to install uh, for William a keypad in the bottom here so he wants a keypad installed and we're going to be upgrading the transmitter and the receiver so basically this is the initial checkout and I want to show you something with the bells now you have to lift up this door and the bells come down and they are all loose in here somebody was having a problem with a bell we checked it it's not working at this time and the magneto is not working at this time but it does have its crank it's not producing any voltage at this time but it's a very cool telephone and it's in very good condition and we're going to get this uh, telephone squared away and converted for William and this gives you some look at it it has its open connections on the top and your lightning arrestor so it's a very cool telephone. We're also going to be installing a modular port adapter on the inside of this telephone so that William can simply open this telephone up and bring a line cord in any length, any color and uh, simply plug into a modular port and then he'll have a keypad in the bottom area. So we're going to go ahead and get a start on this telephone. We'll get some more video of it as we move along and the repair and conversion of this telephone so we'll be right back okay we're back now and so what we're doing here is working on the magneto circuit and the bell circuit and so what we've done is repaired the magneto and then we went in and repaired the bell and stabilized the bell the bell actually didn't have any screws in it at all to mount it and so we've got everything kind of designed out now and we have our circuit that creates uh, the ability so that you can crank the magneto and ring the bells but not back feed any voltage into the telephone line so that when you get a call the bells also ring so what we want to do now is test everything before we put it back together again so we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna do a low ring cycle like you were getting a call and then we're going to do a normal ring cycle so we'll go ahead and do that now we'll do a low ring cycle like you're getting a call the bells have a very nice sound to them we'll let that go one more time now I'll go ahead and stop that now I want to do a normal ring cycle and we'll just do that right now I'll let that go a couple more times and we'll stop that now and now what I want to do is ring the bells with a magneto so we'll go ahead and do that so 
So now you can hear the bells. They have a really good sound to them. And we have everything uh, straightened out and designed the way we want it. What we'll do is uh, we'll take a break from the video. We'll put everything back together again. And then we'll start working on installing our keypad and then upgrading the transmitter and upgrading the receiver and wiring in a modular port so that William can walk up to this telephone and plug in any line cord any length he chooses. And then also we want to rewire everything the way we need it wired to work the way we want it to work. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone. And so basically we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. A little bit of everything has been done to this telephone and we also installed a keypad. And so on the eyelets on all of the screw holes on this telephone were loose. They were coming out, so they had to be resecured. And this is the cover that goes here on the phone and we're going to put a stopper. It'll be the last thing we do. We'll put a stopper on this door so that when it slides down it won't fall off and then William will be able to dial with the keypad. So we're going to set this to the side and now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and crank the magneto. So earlier in the video we showed we went through the magneto and repaired that. We went through the bells and repaired that. We upgraded the transmitter and the receiver. We had to rewire everything in the telephone and uh, so just a little bit of everything was done here. We also had to install transmitter lines out the back of the telephone like they did uh, from the factory and then down the grooves that they give you on the back of the telephone and end up down in our wiring here and wire them in because the mic lines had been cut. Now we want to start our final check so what we're going to do is ring our bells and we also had to create a circuit so that Anytime you ring the bells with a magneto, it does not backfeed voltage into the telephone line. So we'll go ahead and ring the bells. It has a very nice bell sound to it. Uh, we want to move the door away and we're going to ring the bells as you were getting a call coming in by the analyzer. I want to go ahead and answer the telephone and give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is we want to dial out. So if you watch the analyzer, we'll go through our keypad and you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to tap on a transmitter. and. If you see this red light on the analyzer as I'm talking, hello, one, two, three, it's actually picking me up from pretty far back. So we know it has transmit. We have a flash button we can hit, and that gives us dial tone again. We also have a redial, so it'll redial our numbers. Now what we can do is call a time and temp number and I want to warn you they're having problems with their equipment and the recording will start and then you'll hear a hum 
and then the recording will start again. Uh, they're having problems with their equipment. It has nothing to do with what we're doing on our end. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit the switch box now, and then that will give us a line out, I'll give you some dial tone.